What's up guys, the only ninja wearing aviators and a Superman hat and I'm not even wearing a Superman hat today because it's my video and I can do what I want and I don't care. So today is another episode of Combat for Dummies and we are going to use this episode to go over the speed figure eight with this bow staff. Run that intro. So since the figure eight or the speed figure eight, because there are multiple types of figure eights, is gonna be our first one. I'm gonna start with showing you how to hold your bow staff. For this specific move, you're gonna hold your bow staff, both thumbs up, right hand on top. So this is my right hand, both thumbs up, right hand on top, just like that. Obviously, you're gonna wanna grab it with your hands. Don't, you know, don't use not use your thumbs. But that's the way you wanna grab it. Now, it is super important to not let go with these two fingers right here. Bang, gotcha. <laughs> but don't let go of these two fingers because if you do, you can let go and your bow staff can start flying anywhere. And that's not what you want. So with that in mind, you're going to imagine, I want you to imagine you're in some sort of kayak or boat, right? And this is your paddle. The one side where your thumbs are pointing is where your paddle is. So you're going to take that, you're going to try to move forward in your boat. In order to do that, you have to put it on one side and push that water behind you. And then take that same end, same where your thumbs are facing, put it on the other side, push that paddle behind you. So this is gonna be your figure eight starting off. It's gonna be this big motion of paddling your kayak or canoe or boat forward. Now, the way you make it faster is by making less of a big circle with your hands and more with your wrists, more just spinning your wrists. That allows you to keep that, uh, that paddle going nice and fast. And I'm still just doing that same motion that we talked about earlier, let me turn it sideways. That same motion of paddling your boat forward, except a lot faster. And you can get this going incredibly fast, just like that. Later, we'll go into our hand rolls and other tricks, but for now, that should keep you going for the next couple days until I post the next episode of this. I'm still kind of figuring out how often I want to post these videos. It might be more often, it might be less often. It all depends on, you know, whether you guys like it because I like recording it. It kind of gives me a good excuse to go out and practice a little bit. So, until next time, I'm out.